Up to 35% of women treated for breast cancer are at risk for developing lymphedema. Mm -hmm. This is a major, major problem and it doesn't have a cure, uh, so it has to be managed. It does, that's all we have right now. Dr. Roxon, he's been doing a clinical trial up at Stanford University. We have real high hopes, of course, for that. And that's all we can do right now is share our stories together. It's, it's like climbing Mount Everest. Well, we've been talking with my friend Kathy Bates and who lives with a serious disease called lymphedema. Now, my senior producer, Allie Levin, says while working on this show, she was surprised to discover that she had a personal connection with the topic. Take a look. My dad, Charlie, was a professor of economics at Washington University in St. Louis. My dad definitely had some health issues. When I was in high school, he even had to have bypass surgery. I remember they had to remove veins from his legs and replace the bad ones in his heart. He would get these infections in his legs. I had noticed that there was swelling in his legs and in his feet. There was one winter when he got this horrible infection and he was put in the hospital for weeks. My dad never recovered from that time in the hospital and he was left in bed with round the clock nursing care. Eight years ago, at the age of 82, my father passed away. While talking with experts for the show, like Dr. Roxon, who's a co-founder of LEARN, the Lymphatic Education and Research Network, I described symptoms that I observed that my father had had years ago, and he believed that it was very possible that he had, in fact, had lymphedema. Then something suddenly clicked. I picked up the phone and I called one of my older brothers, who is an assistant dean at a medical school in Chicago. So I asked my brother, I said, hey, did dad have lymphedema? He said he had cellulitis and I believe he did have lymphedema. Looking back, knowing what I know now, if things could have been different for my father, I think maybe it's possible my father Charlie could have lived a longer life and with better care. Nobody brought this up at the time, right? Yeah, it was, uh, it was sort of a situation where uh, I was told that your father has been sick for a long time with a lot of different things and his body's just shutting down. Joining us now is the co-founder of LEARN, uh, Dr. Stanley Roxon, who is also a professor of lymphatic research at Stanford. That sounds very much like that could have been what's going on here. Yes, so coronary bypass surgery is, is a common cause of lymphedema, in fact. And what we know, those of us who spend more than the requisite 15 minutes right. thinking about the lymphatics, uh, we know, it, I basically tell my medical students and residents, if somebody has an attack of cellulitis, think that they might have lymphedema. If they have more than one attack of cellulitis, they have lymphedema, no matter what you see. Okay, and for everyone watching, define cellulitis, an attack of cellulitis. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection in the skin. With an impaired lymphatic circulation, the body can't fight off the infection. 